Hey guys, Thomas the Prince 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Trackmaster Motorized Allegiance Go Emily. Now on the packaging here, you'll see it has a nice logo there, uh, her name, and of course that awesome illustri illustration from Allegiance Go on the side. Here's the side of the packaging. And the back, and you'll see again that great image from the show there. Very cool. Here's the other side. The top. And the bottom. And on the bottom there, you'll see that awesome Thomas and Friends barcode logo. I really like how they do that. It gives the extra sense of branding. And here's Emily out of the box. Now the first thing that you're going to notice is this engine is very large. Uh, very long and very tall but it looks just like all engines go, which really impressed me. One thing that is a little bit disappointing is that large wheel is uh, static, it does not move, but that's okay. Um, you'll see number 12 there, handrail printing, a boiler band detail, the whistle detail, the dome detail. So much detail uh, on this engine, it's really surprising. Here's the front of the engine, you'll see that there are unprinted buffers, but that's okay, we're used to that. Uh, you will see that the windows on the cabs are hollowed out, which I think is a very nice touch. Here's the other side of the engine, and again, you'll see those great details that we saw on the other side. Cab lining, uh, handrail detail on the number 12. Here's the back of the attempter there. See that coupling is molded. And then you'll see the inside of the cab here, which is kind of plain, but again, we're used to that. And you'll see those uh, see-through portals there. And then if we turn the tender around here, you'll see there is a cold low detail there, which is nice, nice to find the tender. Here's the top of the engine. You'll see the funnel is a little bit hollow there, in the cold low detail of the tinder. And then the bottom of the engine here. You'll see too where they have the static wheels at the front, and of course that static wheel in the middle. Alright, so all in all, what do I think of the motorized Emily? Well, I'm going to be very honest with you, I think she is a lovely model, especially for all engines go. The detail here is absolutely spectacular when you compare it to the series. Um, it looks just incredible, and I have the same uh, compliments for the pushlock model. The only complaint that I have here is, of course, that large middle wheel. However, I really can't think of a way that they could have gotten it to move, so I'm more lenient on that um, than I would be if this was, say, the Trackmaster 2 range, and we were dealing with just classic Thomas. But with all I just go, it's not a huge deal. All in all, though, the detail on this is absolutely amazing. Um, if you like All Engines Go, if you love All Engines Go, if you like the motorized range, then definitely pick this engine up. Um, I think it's probably one of the best and probably one of my favorites out of the uh, newest wave of All Engines Go's motorized engines, and I'm very happy to have her in my collection. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.